Hi, this is going to be a video specifically um, on how to use FSU IPC uh, to enable Hover Control's HTR program. Uh, HTR is their program that adds a whole new level of realism to helicopter physics in Microsoft's Flight Simulator FSX. Um, it runs outside of FSX but is connected to it through FSU IPC. Um, the videos and things that I've been able to find to be able to do this have been a bit confusing so once I got to the point where I understood what to do I wanted to make this video to help out anyone in the future that might have the same questions I did. Um, so as you know in FSX there are a couple of default helicopters and as you also probably know the stock flight model for those helicopters is very very dumbed down, very simplified. Um, Hover Control, which is the name of the website that has this HTR, they uh, apparently are helicopter enthusiasts that work together to build a better physics engine for the FSX helicopters. And this video, I intend to show you um, how to download them, how to use them, how to, how to get it all to work. What you're going to need uh, is two programs, two small downloads, HTR15 and FSU IPC4. Um, we're going to go in order of how they work, so we'll start with FSU. It's really pretty simple to find. Just do Google search for FSU IPC. This is the website you'll need, Sharati.com. That's the specific one that you'll want. Now, this video was made in August 11th, 2016. So, when I say current, that means as of today. What you'll need is this right here, FSU IPC4 4.955. I'm just going to call it FSU from this point forward. Just click on it, download it. Now, FSU has a full uh, non-free version with many more features than the default. For what we're doing to get it to work with this hover control, you don't need all that. You could just use the free version. Um, but it's a little strange when you're installing that, and I'll show you what I mean. So first thing you want to do is click on that and download it. It'll take a couple seconds. It'll pop up that it's downloading any second. There it is. Now what you want to, what I did is I just saved it to my download. I've already downloaded it. Okay, you can see it right here, FSU IPC4. Now the next thing we'll need is hover control. Do a uh, search for hover control. The first thing that pops up is hovercontrol.com and you'll go to files and the very first item, AAA hover control helicopters and this is what you're looking for, this package. Now, props to Hover Control. Um, they also have more helicopters and more um, Hover Control uh, uh, plugins for those helicopters so that you could have something like a, uh, an older Huey with these new flight, with this new physics engine. But all we're shooting for today is just the basic program. I'm going to be using this so that my default helicopters in FSX have better realism. You just click on it. Flight Simulator Download, you'll just click that right there. As you can see, I've already done it. So I've got the two programs that I need to do this. Okay, so now that you've got them both done, or both downloaded, you'll unzip them. If you don't know how to unzip, you can just right click and go to Extract All and put it wherever you can find them easily. I put everything on the desktop. Um, 
when I'm testing them until later when I just decide to hide them in a folder somewhere. Uh, I would recommend though if you can find 7-zip online use that instead. I, I like it. It works very smoothly. And then just extract to desktop folder so that these are unzipped. These two folders, these two files are unzipped these two folders. Okay. First things first, install FSU. Double click it, open it up. You'll see the installing and registering, all this stuff. You don't have to worry about it. Just double click this and hit yes. It does a quick install and you'll see that it says installed in FSX OK. Now what that means is the bake basic free version is in, is in FSX now. You don't need to do anything else. So all you have to do, if you don't want to bother with the full version, and that's up to you to decide whether or not you want to buy the full version. That's something you can research on your own. Just hit not now and all that goes away and close it. It's in FSX. It just doesn't like to tell you that it's done. But it's there. It's working now. Before you enable HTR, I'm going to go ahead and open the folder. HTR 1.5 release. And what we're going to be looking for is HTR right here, the application. Don't hit it yet because it won't work yet. Well, it'll work, just not smoothly. I'm just going to minimize it. And I'm going to turn on FSX. Open it up. It'll take a little bit of time to load, of course. Um, we'll just wait for it. You can see I've got X-Plane 10 too, but uh, if you haven't already bought X-Plane 10, if you don't actually fly, if you just love airplanes and simulators like I do, don't waste your money on X-Plane 10. Trust me, just don't do it. All right, come on, FSX. Oh, and I just realized, the music's going to start up. Turn that down so you can hear me better. As soon as it's done loading, I don't want to go into the why I feel about explaining right now. It's for a different time. Settings. Turn off the volume. Okay. Now, free flight. For the hover control program to work best, you want to have your helicopter selected before you enable it. It can still work if you do it second, but it's just easier to do it this way. So let's go here, Bell Jet Ranger, Highway Patrol, why not? And I'm going to go to Miami, Miami International. Um, I've never been to Florida. Hopefully I never, ever, ever have to go to Florida. Um, but the city of Miami, as far as flight simulators go, it's great. It's, it's a beautiful city. Lots of buildings, a nice ocean, a whole bit. Ramp cargo. We're just going to go so I'm out of the way. Hit OK. It's 1042 local for me now, so I'll just turn off the daytime. Clear skies. Make it simple. Now that it's chosen, before you hit fly now, go ahead and open up HTR and double click it. Now, you'll know it's working if it says connected to is checked, HTR is checked, it shows what airplane you have. All you got to do then, minimize, you can just X out of the folder, you don't need that open anymore, and go to fly now. Now, um, if you've flown helicopters, default helicopters in FSX a lot, you know that generally you give them a little bit of gas. They lift gently up off the ground with a little bit of spin to the right usually. Um, like I said, they're very, very dumbed down, even with realism turned all the way up. It's really not very realistic. Uh, HTR changes that. It's, uh, yeah, it's, as I said, it's a very realistic flight model for helicopters. Now, since I'm not actually a helicopter pilot, I'm going to have to take their word for it, but what I do know about helicopters, what I've seen, is this acts much more realistic. Let me get my track IR centered, and 
turn on the, that part so I can see how fast I'm going. Right, now, as I said, if you're used to stock uh, helicopters, you'll notice a difference right off the bat. As soon as I start getting the little bit of gas very slowly, fast, and see how it's spun really fast, and it's already starting to float away. Okay, like I said, I'm not a helicopter pilot. Don't judge this by my performance with this helicopter. If you know what you're doing, you'll know what to expect, you'll know how to counteract it. Helicopters are not easy to fly. That's why I love them. I just wish I knew how to actually do it. Alright. Um, hovering is probably going to be out of the question for me. Because like I said, I'm just not any good at it. Let's, uh, let's to see what it is. It's a much, much different animal from the default. It, uh, you'll probably want to tweak your controls. Um, I'm using a SciTech X52 throttle and joystick with uh, CH Pro rudder pedals, but I don't have them tweaked or adjusted in any way other than default, simply because I use them for so many different games, and they all have different requirements that I just learn how to adapt game by game. Um, if you change your settings on your controls, um, you'll probably be able to find something that works better for you that's not quite so harky jerky. Let's give it a little bit of gas. I've got the throttle going on a little bit. Move forward, get some speed up. I'm not using uh, the uh, tower control, uh, tower communication at all, because obviously this is just a demonstration. Um, so, hopefully this video has helped you. Hopefully you're able to understand. Hopefully I didn't go too fast to do things too unclear. Um, I'll keep an eye on the comments. I'll check in on it once in a while. If you uh, have any questions, you can just post them there. Um, uh, I won't be able to answer very many technical questions about how these programs work, how helicopters work, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, I'm just an armchair pilot. I love flying simulators, and that's basically all I'm not doing. Uh, but like I said, I hope this helps. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now while I just keep flying around Miami. Um, good luck with it. Uh, it would be appreciated if you took a moment to post in the comments if it worked for you and if this video actually helped. That's the kind of thing I like to hear, but it's not necessary. So, like I said, good luck, um, and that's it. Bye.